Hello everyone, welcome back. In this presentation, we are going to focus on the relational algebra, the assignment operation. We know basically there are six fundamental relational algebra operations and few additional operations. And the additional operations include the set intersection operation, the assignment operation, the natural join, the division operation, and the outer join operation. And the outer join includes the left outer join, right outer join, and the full outer join operation. In this presentation, we are going to focus on the assignment operation. Why do we need this assignment operation? That's what we are going to see in this presentation. Basically, this assignment operation is similar to the assignment operator in the programming languages. Let's take any programming language, C or C++, Java or Python. In any programming languages, when we want to assign some value to a variable, we will be using the assignment operator. In most of the cases, is equal to symbol is used as the assignment operator. Let's take a is equal to 10. What do we mean by this? We are assigning the value or the constant 10 to the variable a. We will also do like this, right? a is equal to b. In this case, the value of b is assigned to a. So simply assignment operators are required in order to do assignments. In relational algebra also, the assignment operation is not an exception. This is also going to do the assignment like the same assignment operator does in the programming languages. Now what is the symbol that is used to do this assignment? In some conventions they use is equal to symbol and in some convention they use the arrow. And this is a left arrow. So what it denotes is the right hand side value is going to be assigned to the left hand side. So from this it's clear that the assignment is going to be made from the right hand side to the left hand side. And what type of operator is this assignment operator? Whether it is a unary operator or a binary operator. The assignment needs the left hand side as well as the right hand side. So obviously this is also a binary operator where it involves two operands. And hence assignment operation in relational algebra will also come under binary operator category. So it's clear that the assignment operator is going to do assignment. Now we are going to see what does this assignment is for. Actually, when we do some assignment, the database might be modified if the assignment to a permanent relation is made. So what this point says is that when we are referring a database and when we are doing some assignment, always prefer this assignment to a temporary relation name or a temporary relation variable. If we attempt to make an assignment to a permanent relation, then obviously the database will be modified. Because what we are doing? We are trying to change or modify the permanent relation, not a temporary relation. What do we mean by permanent and temporary relation? A permanent relation is the relation that actually exists in the database. And we don't want that modification to be carried out directly on the database, right? Then what about temporary relations? Generally, the output of the relational algebra expressions are the temporary relations. And if we want to assign it to a table name or if we want to assign it to some variables, then we can go for this assignment operator. I know things will be unclear at this stage. When we see some examples, then it will be easy for you to understand. For now, just understand the database might be modified if the assignment to a permanent relation is made. And what about the temporary relation? Yes, it is recommended. So this assignment operation is useful in the situation where it is required to write relational algebra expressions by using temporary relation variables. And we are clear that the output of the relational algebra expressions are tables or relations and those output relations will not have a name. And when we want the output of the relational algebra expressions, which are basically the tables to a temporary relation variable, then we can go for the assignment operator. Don't worry about this. I will give you an example. Say in this example, I am performing R intersection S. We know intersection is one of the additional relational algebra operators which is also a binary operator which takes two inputs R and S and the output of this R intersection S is going to be a relation only and this relation is a temporary relation and this output is obviously a relation and we are storing the output to a relation variable P and this relation variable P is actually a temporary relation variable. Can you see here this is a temporary relation variable and that's what the previous point says this assignment operator is actually useful in the situation where it is required to write relational algebra expressions by using temporary relation variable. 
If you ask me a question, does it actually enhance the power of relational algebra like the other operators does? I would say, no. This assignment operator does not provide any additional power to the relational algebra apart from storing the output of the relational algebra expressions. If that is the case, then why do we need this? It has one advantage because these assignment operators provides a convenient way to express complex queries. Say if we are writing some complex queries and we need not repeatedly write the complex queries again and again. What we can do instead, we can store it into a temporary relation variable and we can start using that temporary relation variable so that it becomes easy and convenient to express complex queries in relational algebra. Let's see some examples. Here what we are doing is we are writing a complex relational algebra expression and obviously the output of this complex relational algebra expression is going to be a table and we are going to store that output in a relation variable temp1. And if we have another expression like expression 2 which is also another relational algebra expression and I am storing the output of this in temp2. Now expression 1 and expression 2 just imagine they are complex relational algebra expressions which involves 2 or 3 or more lines. Those complex queries can be simply referred as temp1 and temp2 accordingly. And we know temp1 and temp2 are already the output of this relational algebra expressions. Now what we can write is the result can be for example temp1 divided by temp2. See how easily I am representing? Because temp1 may be a complex relational algebra expression. Temp2 may also be a complex relational algebra expression. Now I am just referring the temporary relation variables temp1 and temp2 for carrying out my task. As mentioned, is equal to symbol may be used for representing the assignment operation. There are some conventions which uses this left arrow. Say for example, here the Cartesian product between the two relations R and S are actually stored in temp1, which is a temporary relation variable. And let's take another example, temp2, which is actually representing the output of this relational algebra expression. Let's say the output is going to be the projection of R union S from temp2. Say such complex queries can be easily expressed using the temporary relation variables by assigning the values or by assigning the complex queries to the temporary relation variables. So this is how these assignment operators become handy. And that's it guys. In this presentation we have focused on the assignment operation. In the next presentation we will focus on the natural join which is one of the important concepts in relational algebra. I'll see you in the next presentation and thank you for watching.